To set up the web page, we want to use a grid layout and everything will be enclosed in a wrapper. We're going to have sections for the banner, the introduction, our fears and advice, which are next to each other, the quotes and the footer. So we are going to need to have a two column layout. Inside your body tag, please open and close a div tag. And in your open tag, give it the class wrapper. And every time you close a div, you want to get into the habit of commenting what that slash div is actually closing. Inside your wrapper, please set up your banner div, set up an intro div, and set up divs for your fears, advice, and footer. And inside our banner div, we can set up our heading, which is going to use an H1 tag. And we can retrieve the heading from our phobias text document. If you're using Visual Studio Code, it should automatically indent your code so that it is easy to read. Inside your intro div, pop in some text saying that the intro is going to go there. Do something similar for your fears, advice, and footer areas. You might have noticed that we've got a small dot next to our file name. When you go save or control S, that dot will disappear. Please get into the habit of making sure that you save your work before you go to your browser and reload to preview. We've got the text working, but of course the formatting looks really boring. We can fix this by going into our style sheet. To begin, we can set up the rules for the body, which means typing the tag body, and this time we're going to use curly brackets. Our text color should be set to black, and our background color needs to match the color from our design. Please refer back to your design and get the six character color code, remembering the hash. At this point, you can save your CSS, and when you reload the page, you'll notice that the background color changes. Just like with our HTML, we can use control slash to set up comments. CSS comments look a little bit different. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our wrapper. If we go into our index code, you might recall that we gave our div the class of wrapper. That means that when we set up our CSS, we use dot because it's a class. And we need to use the keyword wrapper so that it applies to that whole box. We're going to use a grid display. And hopefully you've noticed that at the end of each line of your CSS, you need a semicolon. We're going to set up a two column grid because when we lay a grid over our design, we have two columns in our main area. We set them up to be one fraction and one fraction, so they should be even. To set up our grid, we use grid template areas, a colon and a semicolon, give ourselves some space, put in some speech marks. So this row is going to be the banner, and that gets repeated twice because it's going over both columns. Likewise, our intro goes over two columns. We then have fears and advice, two columns for quotes, and two columns for our footer. Once you've set up your wrapper, you need to go underneath. Of each box that you set up, you need to assign the grid area. So that's what the code for your banner should look like. Let's set up for the intro box. We need a fears area. We need an advice area. We need a quotes area and we need a footer area. It's also a good idea where we set up our wrapper to set up a grid gap. And I'm going to have four pixels for now. And if you were to reload the page, you'd notice that our fears and our advice are separated out. As this video is getting a little bit long, we're going to continue this process in the next video.